everything happens it happens <laughs> more, more often than you think you see the amount of phone calls I get while you're away why does this not work why does that not work what's going on dropping in yeah, yeah. dropping in no I said Sean might find out <laughs> <laughs> he's bigger than I am yeah, yeah. Um, he's aggressive I can tell uh, I've seen go. his highlights uh, so you did so you dropped an F-bomb live on TV yeah it's happened twice twice oh, now once and then it's just to just blanked out one time <laughs> just yeah. spaced out but, eh. at least in Japan they probably don't really understand half yeah. it anyway you don't really get drawn into the interviews <laughs> yeah <laughs> so do they, do they yeah, so what happens there in Japan with because um, you're full time there now eh yeah full time there what happens with language barrier do you do they expect you to learn or yeah, do we, you expect them to we get um basically get a translator yeah. that looks after us pretty much all the time when we're at training he's on the field with us all the time meetings all the time with us yeah. um, if we go into a media room or whatever he'll also be there but then at the same time they kind of expect us to um, try learn the language which, yeah. is, which is pretty cool we're more than happy to do that um, it's a skill yeah know. they give us a teacher you know to be bilingual would be pretty awesome yeah um, but it's quite a difficult language like you think we say things a whole yeah. uh, too many ways to say things they say it one thing can mean about three different things oh really just like yeah. oh I thought English was the hardest yeah well because of the way like all that different the way there there and there yeah we're there there and there and wound and wound and yeah all that stuff but yeah you think so but yeah same. Japanese is, is quite difficult to learn you know some people probably pick it up a bit quicker than me though, <laughs> so it's <laughs> I was never great at school so yeah. it didn't help me <laughs> you're stuck with that yeah. so like I said your, your coach is he what nationality is he uh, he was Japanese um, we've actually got the he's changed yeah, he's changed. Yeah. You got a new head coach. Yeah. Okay. Oh, your new uh, coach. Yeah, a new coach coming in. He's uh, from NZ, actually. Oh, yeah. So, Jeez. so you guys have a skyrocket up the charts. Yeah, oh, you know, we're already at the top. So, Where's, <laughs> are you? No, no we're, we uh, came second in our last big one in top league about a year ago. So your league isn't, you're not super, you're not super franchise, are you? No, nah, we're, we're, we're top league. Um, it's the Japanese, uh, I guess, equivalent to, you know, yeah. um, what they do in, like, I guess, a minor 10. Yeah, like the provincial. Yeah, 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 yeah. Provincial, but you're owned by um, companies. So I'm Suntory, which is like a, oh, yeah. you know, it's beer, whiskey. Yeah. Um, nice. Big, yeah. You have good parties yeah, after. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Good after we'll parties. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and then you got, yeah, like Panasonic, yeah. Toshiba, Canon. Uh, just pretty all cool, owned by companies. Yeah, it's yeah. awesome. Um, and, you know, the Japanese people, I guess, if you've seen from the World Cup, they, yeah. they buy into it and that. It looks so good. Yeah. I, I, when I saw it, some of the games, I was thinking, man, I wish I'd have gone. wish I'd have, like, it was always a list of item to go and do, but now just, you know, life gets in the way and you yeah. end up like, I was like, shit, I should have gone. It looks, brushing it. Yeah. yeah, I was like, so good. Still yeah. not too late, but yeah. I might not be able to afford the tickets. Yeah, <laughs> yeah they start to get a bit more expensive Especially, after, yeah, the, exactly. after the fucking pool. So you're not, because you're not obviously not in the World Cup. Is that, did, what, why did you not, did you, what am I trying to say? Did you move to Japan with the intention of coming back to try and make the um, World Cup team? Or did you just think, oh, look, this is something I've got to pass on? Or Look, at, at that stage, um, when my career was going to that stage you know i got an opportunity to go to play in japan and at that stage i just start up a new family and um doing our own thing and you know the opportunity to go there was you know pretty hard to pass up you know there's definitely an intention to eventually you know work my way back yeah. here to australia but for now you're still um, young enough aren't you to, yeah yeah only 25 so yeah. you know even after this contract i finish up i'll only be about you know 28 29 yeah so um but at that stage you yeah, got to make that decision if i want to come back or not depends you know because they, the they have that rule do they have a rule i know new zealand because i obviously follow that pretty closely yeah. so i know they have a rule where basically if you're not in the country you're not up for selection yeah it's pretty much exactly the same, same they thing, have yeah. like uh, the ghetto law yeah with australia if you played over 60 tests you know they yeah. can ask you to come back if you want to come back or whatever but i'm only at about 26 so is that all yeah just a couple <laughs> just a couple it's no reason these days mate yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but um yeah so for now it's yeah just focusing on to pretty yeah. much the top league um and getting it done there you know over there playing footy it's great the people are great yeah they seem so passionate eh? they are they're passionate into yeah. anything that goes there you know not a lot of them probably knew what rugby was yeah. when the world cups come over but you look at how many of those fans have just got around the sport yeah. just because it's there and it's such a big event and and how many people are just loving um what's going on over there at the moment that's so just the japanese people you go back soon eh? yeah head back off on thursday morning so you'll be over there for the yeah for the remaining yeah so hopefully i'll catch maybe a quarter yeah or a semi while we're over there if we get a bit of time off away from training and that yeah um which would be pretty pretty awesome what city what city are you in uh tokyo oh you are in tokyo yeah, oh, so right, yeah, so right in the, the mixer so is that, is that where the World Cup final is? Must yeah, be Tokyo. Yeah, I'd say it'd be there or, you know, maybe in Osaka, but I'd think it would be Tokyo. I'm okay. not 100% sure. Your spare room? 
Yeah, man, I could probably <laughs> sit you up for a bit. Eh? I know, I was thinking, oh, if I get, if I get a uh, final, <laughs> yeah. I, get the I, might not, I won't be able to afford to stay anywhere. Like, I won't, you'll have to provide food, accommodation, yeah. everything, because yeah. I'll, I'll blow everything on the ticket. You just said, yeah, yeah. The, the, the ticket there and then the, yeah. the actual game ticket. Yeah. Hey, remember all those favours? I'm like, yeah, I'll go back over. <laughs> nice. So over there, it's it must be just like a totally different way of life then, is it? Yeah. Like, to what you do here. So what is it, what is your day like over there compared to... Um, it depends like if we're talking like days off or... Um, yeah. Like days on, like, like days, days on. on training. Um, just depends. Sometimes we train in the in the mornings, and that'll finish up like you know one two. By the time yep. you've done all your recovery and all your field, your meetings and whatever, let's say it's an afternoon session. You'll start maybe twelve ish one or or whatever. Um, you'll finish up around five or six. Um, which is pretty awesome, like in regards to family time and stuff like that. Because you know, if I'm training in the afternoon, I basically get the entire morning. Yeah. With my wife and my son, and then you know vice versa the afternoon if i'm training the um, morning i get the afternoon off um and then in regards to like going to train or roll in um you know we've got great like uh, onsen facilities at the actual club which is like your big spa bars if anyone's been to japan yeah yeah your saunas and stuff come in give yourself a little bit of prep hit a bit of breakfast that they can you know they have that set up for you there if you want it um you'll roll into usually gym in the morning you know your standard day then yeah um gym then bang out a meeting or two then straight on to the field that can go anywhere up to two hours depending on the day pre-seasons you know a bit longer and yep. they want to get a bit more content flog you for longer yeah. yeah content i like yeah. you call that yeah that's not content, content. that's good flogging you. <laughs> that's yeah. a flogging that's yeah. such a professional term <laughs> yeah 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 you can't say they just fuck us over yeah, yeah. <laughs> nice which is exactly what happens yeah um and then just recovery physio yep. that's like your stock standard day but in regards to flogging, they love running over there. So really, yeah, it's humid. Eh? It looks oh, humid on the TV. Um, at the moment. Well, yeah, when I just left, because I did a little four months there, just previously on a short block we had, um, it was up at like that thirty-eight degrees, like seventy percent humidity, oh. and it was just you're getting off the field four, four to six yeah. kilos lighter, and you're just really? sweating the house down. Is that in your? Cooker. That's in your? Yeah, where, content where, where, sessions. That's in my content yeah, sessions. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Because that, that, you'd have to, I suppose they monitor that, don't they? Because in Australia, like, it's a lot, we get some pretty hot days, but nothing like that. Like, that looks... Yeah, like, you get your hot days, especially being from Queensland. Yeah. Like, I was... Because where'd you grow up? Uh, Brizzy. Brizzy, yeah. yeah. So I thought, I, you know, pretty used to the heat. But when I got over there, it was just a whole different kind of heat, just to... Because yeah. the humidity does get pretty bad here, but that was, like, the top end heat, top yeah. end humidity, and it was just an absolute cook up, no matter, like, what have I done? What time you're on the field, you're like... <laughs> yeah. Mistakes. Yeah, it was <laughs> <laughs> at, least you get, at least you got an excuse for the ball being slippery. So yeah. It's just the humidity, guys. Yeah, it's the humidity. Yeah, that's why I dropped everything. It. Sean, it's it's not humid today. <laughs> <laughs> no excuse. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so grew up in Brizzy, and then so you did you go to one of the which high school did you go to? Uh, Nudgee. Is that Nudgee is College? That a pretty um, like rugby union yeah, so oriented like, school. Yeah, See, I don't so, know anything about the school. Yeah, so the school like system here, I guess, works like um, the GPS schools are like I yeah. guess the ones where there's rugby union is kind of a big big deal yeah. i guess and your, your state schools um are a bit more into their league, league yeah. don't worry there's definite change over between yeah. both you know depending what the um you know kids want to do mm. but yeah we we're pretty um like a, a dominant school in regards to rugby union um, countrywide or statewide or, or uh, both? statewide there is a similar thing down in sydney and and melbourne most of your states yeah. will have that kind of change between state school i guess and private schools and and what they want to do yeah um but yeah you got you know tss down here is another yep. that's who we yeah. nudgy kind of verse tss and like your skills yep. like that oh, from see, yeah, yeah yeah the high end yeah so that because yeah in league state way more state school yeah yeah Have you ever like, thought about playing league i did play league you did yeah right i uh, started when did i start playing league probably year three or four and then yeah got to nudgy and they kind of said you know make a decision what you want to do and i was like, oh well, i'll play for play school footy otherwise yeah. it's a, you know a bit frowned upon by all the other boys if you I was gonna say, don't yeah. get into it you know yeah. so that's how I got into that Cause does Nudgy have a league program? not really like there was a little comp that they would do where there was but like a little bit of, but it wasn't like a frowned upon yeah also frowned upon <laughs> oh, okay. it was just more of a muck around and, and a slog fest than anything yeah and you oh okay so that's you're right I, that's funny how there's such a separation because again you know, it's like everything Yeah, everything is union yeah like everything yeah. the front page of the paper it doesn't matter like you've been there obviously oh, many before. a time many yeah. a time I oh, know it's, it's, it's all ridiculous. blacks everywhere yeah it's all blacks it's like window, oh, to, window to window yeah and by the way oh you know this is the new prime minister <laughs> but the all blacks won so that's cool <laughs> yeah. so nobody cares so you, so you league you used to play league and then just 
thought yeah, union made the, is the way to go. And yeah, made the change over just to union and, yeah. and kind of kept plugging along there. And then I guess, you know, played first 15, which is, you know, yep. the equivalent to you, similar yep. back in, in New Zealand with your, with your schools back there. Yeah. Um, did first 15, year 11, year 12, and then kind of didn't have much going at the end of that. Um, is like, that a difficult transition in Australia? Yeah, well, you know, I just didn't have anyone kind of pick me up. Like I had a manager yep. who I've been with for a long time now in year 11. Um, and he was like, look, don't give up. Just come down and play the sevens tournament for me down in Noosa. Yep. Um, and that's kind of how I worked my way into the kind of professional side of things because I just got picked up by the Australian sevens. They said, I'll come play in this one more tournament. Yeah played in that tournament and then um they go oh, would you mind playing at the start of the world seven series i was like yes yes okay that's okay yeah <laughs> miss my schoolies though on the oh, goal no. yeah so do you, go back, do you go back each year now and just yeah, like, yeah, yeah just to okay. catch up just yeah. to catch up with school that's what just i do too. Away, do <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> i'll drive through i'll go hang out there yeah just yeah. hang out at the bar just, i'm part of the school mm. nah <laughs> and that's not a bad thing to miss for a reason to miss out school so yeah. where was your first Sevens game, first tournament. Uh, first tournament was here on the Goldie. Oh, yeah, the Goldie tournament. Yeah. So that's when it, I think it might have been first year that it was down here, maybe. Yeah. Because um, I can that now, haven't they? It's not. Yeah, it's been canned. Yeah. Didn't think it was going too well. It's, a bit it's hard such to a get shame. Out. Yeah. Because, like, you get a Welling- the Wellington one's like, well, it's probably all around the world, isn't it? Like, it's, yeah. like, a, it's like a festival more than yeah. anything, well, eh? Well, you, like, your Dubai's, your Wellington used to be massive. Yeah. Your Hong Kong's huge. Hong yeah. Kong's unbelievable. It's like, always that's been one huge. of the, yeah, one yeah. of the best tournaments i've ever you know participated in i'd love to go back there when you yeah. know i'm done playing footy because that'll be you know yeah um an absolute piss up which would be epic um so there are some big ones that are just like tower over the other yeah. ones but i think you know i think it just struggled down here because the stadium was just you know so yeah. far out and quite hard to get to it's in, yeah, it's it's in the middle of nowhere eh? yeah it's a bit of a weird stadium it's like yeah. you know 20 20 30 minutes yeah and if you're here visiting you're gonna cab it out there you're gonna cab yeah. it back it's just it'd be better if it was like right, it'd be better if they moved that somewhere a little bit closer a little bit closer like yeah. close to the beach imagine on the beach like at main beach or something yeah or the stadium there or something yeah. you just get an absolute crowd yeah I don't know so all up, well it's a good way to travel too isn't it I suppose when you're young yeah travel yeah, well, around I the world saw, see the world yeah well, I saw you know half the world by the time you know I was 18 mm. and you know you get a couple of days here and there where you get to actually go out and yeah. explore and, and get to know places which was fantastic for me um, and then you'd come home and you know, start up again, train, and then yeah. bang out another tournament. So it's a bit of content training for sevens, wasn't it? There was a lot of content <laughs> when you were training for sevens. Yeah, let's just say running was an everyday thing, full pace. So it's I look at those. I look at those sevens players. I think you guys must get flawed. So, oh, Fijians, they're unbelievable. They're like, yeah, they're unbelievable. They look like, but they're so huge too, eh? They're yeah. like just in, physical specimens. Yeah. Well, it's a national to, sport, isn't it? Yeah. Well, they've done. You know, you look at the way they played in the they're playing in the World Cup at the moment. Yeah. Or, you know, you know their runs yeah. over now, unfortunately, but they gave it to nearly every team. Yeah. That they versed, yeah. except Uruguay, where they had I think it was a four day turnaround. Which you know, yeah. anyone who's played footy knows that's a. It's pretty tough. That's pretty tough, especially yeah. coming off a physical game that they played against Australia. So you know they didn't really get the chance to come back from that. Did you get a bit of fear of missing out when you see? Yeah, I guess like you, you'd yeah. always want to be want to be back doing it, but you know you got to think of why you made the decisions you made. And yeah. as much as it would be fantastic to be there playing again, you know, got to look at the the bigger picture yeah. of down the track. Was that co- was that controversial when you decided you were gonna pull the pin on Australia and go over there? Yeah, I guess so. Like you know, there well, you was made decision. You're like, oh, I've made my decision, and that's what it is. Or was it? Did it, you get a bit of backlash from it? Or? Yeah, got. I guess yeah, got a bit of backlash from it. You know, everyone's like, why are you leaving? Um, you know, you're so young. You don't need to go yet. Yeah. All the because that's, that's standard things. That's such a like. A, um, everyone goes Japan, England, France, is it South of France? Yeah, hey? yeah. They sort of did it on the back end. Yeah, of their back career. end. Yeah, so well, you I'd, sort of flipped the yeah, system. Flipped and the said, system and said, you know, yeah. I'll go now. While I'm young, and you know, it's paid off for me. In, yeah. in regards to you know. Um, what's happening with me over there and how much I'm enjoying and stuff yeah. like that and um, but as you said yeah it was a little bit controversial um, yeah because I probably didn't need to go but um, you know I felt at that time it was better for me um, my family and, and just where my head was at at that point in time yeah. is, it, was, is it a little bit less um, full on like I suppose you'd leave a pretty lead a pretty full on life on that in that avenue you're in people know who you are to an extent um the intensity of like media all the time there's always scrutiny yep. on you whereas you go to a country like japan where maybe it's not such a big sport you can be a little bit more inconspicuous there and just yeah well definitely in regards to you you're saying the media and stuff they're yeah. like 
you know, unless you're out there and you've done something yep. really stupid in yep. regards to being out in public, you know, and getting yourself in trouble that way. There's not really often that you're in the media, you're not getting scrutinised as much. And yep. you kind of just focus on going back to that, like, raw footy again where yep. you're just playing footy and enjoying playing footy and you're training and then you're, yep. you're mucking around. But at the same time, the intensity's a little bit different there. Like, it's probably not as physical at the moment as it would be in those super games. Yep. But the speed of the game just feels so much quicker just because of the way the Japanese play. Yeah. Um, referring back to the World Cup, if you've watched the way they've been playing, yeah, yeah. it's been that kind of real fast. That everyone's sick in the team, bang, I feel like Japan. Like, yeah. Every time I see Japan, I'm like, I don't care who they're yeah. playing. I'm like, go for Japan. They'll get up. Like, Come on. so good. Go on. Yeah. Well, they've done so well. I think it's the yeah. first time they've you know, made it to the quarters ever. So this is huge for yeah. not just Japan rugby, but Japan as well. Yeah. It might be a... You might be in the next World Cup in the red and white. <laughs> no. Maybe. No, yeah. no, I don't <laughs> think you can do the trade anymore. <laughs> Can't you? No, I don't think so. so. Like there's a few um, non-Japanese natives in the Japanese team. There, there are. Let's there are that. There are a couple. A couple passport, yeah. passport holders. Hey, hey whatever. Hey. I'm not works, judging. Works. They're in the quarters. So. Yeah, Who are they playing in the quarters? Uh, South Africa. So oh, that'll, oh. Be a, that'll be a beauty. Seems yeah. though they, uh, they beat them last time. Got one up on them in the, the 2015. Mm, I used to go to, actually, this is my claim to fame. I used to go to school with the guy who scored that last try. Really? Well, not school. Not, no, we, knew, we used to play rugby together in New Zealand, in Hawke's Bay. Yeah. I don't think we were ever at school together. No, we weren't. But we played in like opposite the teams. The story's starting to get a little bit dodgy. I know, man. now I'm just trying to... <laughs> trying to actually, dig, you dig I actually knew out of his hole. mother. <laughs> no. yeah. I knew yeah. his mother, yeah. who was related to someone I knew, and then, yeah. you know, it all worked That's just out. like I used to be um, Brodie Retellick's uh, personal trainer. Because <laughs> <laughs> he bought a push bike off me one day. <laughs> <laughs> and then my mate goes, oh, so you're basically his personal trainer. I was like, yeah, I've effectively got... Well, I've had a fair bit to do with why yeah. he's as good as he is. Yeah, there's a reason he's so yeah. fit. It was because he was riding yeah. my bike. Yeah, you see Brady well, uh, Brady Retail doing well? You're welcome, yeah. New Zealand. Yeah, thank, thank you me. very much. But that because that, that's a big thing, also the media, like you were saying. That's a little bit like this thing here. It's a better... Because like, you're probably media trained coming up, I would say, to an extent. Like, did they yeah, do a little well, media training, like how to answer... Uh, so you these know, cookie yeah, cutter answer, questions yeah. and it's kind of find your way around questions yep. if it's not a question that yeah you think to yourself Never okay, go, if I yeah. answer this is going to be yeah it's going to either come back at me or mm. and that's else. scary like I, I watched like the news and guys being interviewed and I sit there going man you see the same shit that other guy just said yeah and it's, like you get you nearly get like a line or yeah. two lines that just works for everything everything yeah that just kind of yeah oh yeah you know great game from everyone today you know? yeah everyone it was a yeah. strong side we wouldn't have done um, well if it wasn't for the forwards yeah yeah the yeah. backs are there oh, yeah. I couldn't have scored if it wasn't yeah. every time well, I hear it, I'm like, that way. Fuck, say yeah. something good yeah. yeah, say something everyone's going to laugh yeah. at but they don't want to be like headline news you and then get yourself in trouble yeah. that's why, that's why like, the, like I said like this thing here it's much easier because then you get to find out what the person's like yeah like it's not and obviously you can say whatever you want and then you know, you're yeah, not putting yourself in a bad yeah, position. position that yeah, because everyone gets to meet the actual real person yeah. rather than this person who like goes, yes, no, yep, thanks. Yes, no, maybe. Th yes, I no, maybe. So. Oh, yeah, good game. Thank you for your time. Yeah, thank you for your time and that's it. Yeah. And that, that's why I enjoy it because, you know, anyway, that's the way it goes. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I just, I, I can't stand Honestly, I watch the news and I'm like, I roll my eyes every time. But I can see also, like you see that guy, Um, there's a league player in Bali at the moment. Oh, yeah. He's got in trouble. Yeah, and there's one guy that? just in the back corner taking a video well phones these days oh, literally you can't yeah. do you know anything no even if you're normal public you're yeah. a celebrity or whatever you just can't do anything anymore because there's yeah. always someone with a phone and they get into a stage that just it's yeah. just bang 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 and there's guys out there that'll wind you up yeah and be to like, do I'm it. just gonna wait yeah yeah it only takes, you know, if someone let's just say if we refer back to the situation that it probably was yeah he's in a bar having a few drinks you know someone said something flicks it off and then that they keep pesting you after a yeah. while and you get a few more drinks in you and you know you know i don't know he's going to come out with his side of the story but yeah. you know that would have been i think i think up. someone got king hit yeah i think one of the other players got king hit and he yeah. retaliated but still he's still getting in trouble yeah exactly well, and he's just doing what any mate would do yeah, like you're just doing him, what you meant to do yeah, but because he's who he is who he is yeah. he's going to get backlash which you know he probably doesn't deserve yeah but it's going to come out and he's going to get you know put under fire for as you said, doing what anyone would do if your mates get yeah, that's right. Yeah. Down. Do you get? Do you, have you ever been put in any position where you're like, oh, I've got to get out of here. This is oh, you get in it. You know, sometimes when you you're out with the boys and you're like, mm. you know, everyone's starting to spark up a little bit, and you're yeah. like, oh, you know, having a few drinks, and you're into into a few more, and you're like, oh, you know, if we keep going this way, it's starting to get a little bit rowdy at yeah. this stage, and you're like, oh, you smoke I'm, bomb and get yeah, out. Yeah, I think yeah. it might be time to time to split yeah but there is other occasions where you don't and you're kind of like an no, i'll be right and then you know something does happen yeah. thankfully i haven't been in a position that 
you know, it's come to the effect of, you know, need to get yeah. in a fight or having to have a scuffle. But, you know, you can you can see how easy it is for people to get into the situations oh, yeah, they get yeah. into, especially these days. Phones, it, it's brutal. Everything. Yeah. Like every, everyone wants to, everyone wants to, and, and also because then they sell it. Yeah, they, they want to sell it. They, they want sell their the footage. Two, two seconds of fame. Or the one in the bar, the guy's miles away. Yeah, and it's filming. You can't even really make yeah. out that it's that guy. Yeah. But like, he's thinking, I'll be looking, yeah. licking his lips. Going, yeah, oh, I made him like get ten grand for this video. Yeah, Someone's gonna pay me. He's typing up the name. Yeah, checking who he yeah, is. Checking and who he like, is. Yeah, right, I'm on here. Gonna autograph the phone. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Can I just get your yeah, media release? Yeah, you want it? It's gonna cost you. Oh no. So you got what five? That means you got four more years in Japan. Yeah, I'll finish up twenty twenty three May. May 2023. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, so a good stint. Yeah. It's nice, you know, a bit of security. Yeah, that's you it. You know that you got a few years um, locked down, yep. um, which is nice, you know. To, you know, Do um, they expect you to stay in Japan? Or are you, allowed, nah, are you so free to come? Once, you know, your season's done and you, you're on your holidays, which can yep. be, you know, for a month up to, you know, three months. Yeah. Um, you know, usually they let you go off, do whatever you kind of want to do. Yeah. Um, I've had about two months now just kind of back home chilling with the family yeah still training because you know don't want to go back and be a fat no, club because yeah. that'll be a genuine issue yeah that'll i won't be, get my holidays yeah. again <laughs> <laughs> you're like now we can't trust you anymore yeah Sean, we can't trust you so yeah. you're gonna come back yeah. and you're gonna have to run yeah ah. excellent <laughs> okay great yeah do, do they tell what but they, do they say look you're away what do you weigh look 100 kilo yeah do they say you got to come back you must come back at 105 or <laughs> no nah, they don't talk you're like the, you're in the naughty corner i'm all right with my my weight <laughs> usually holding my weight or mm. or whatever that's not too big issue makes one of us my, yep. my skin folds though yeah they like to go through the roof you know <laughs> after big feed or you know a couple yeah. skewies every now and then you know i know what my skin <laughs> yeah, folds <laughs> yeah they roll right down yeah. onto the hip you know so you got so what, what what's your time like then what do you do with yourself on your time off here like training wise do you have training to rise? yeah so i've you know i had a good month where i just took just did nothing i just you know relaxed just, came off a little bit of a season like a, just a small season but it was just an intense kind of couple weeks mm. So I just took a month off, relaxed, got the body right, you know, it even, you know, get your head right, just yeah. get away from it all and just know that you're going back into a big pre season so you don't want to just flog yourself for two yeah. two months now and you're going back into another two month pre season type thing. Yeah. But probably the last six weeks been doing um well, about three sessions a week and that'll usually consist of, you know, three gyms and, and yeah. a bit of a, a hard slog run type thing. Um, like just shuttle running. Just down the Broncos. park, yeah, 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 just down the park. Um, What's a Bronco? I've heard that before. What's a Bronco? It's like a one point two kilometer run. time trial run, but yeah. it's like so you shuttle out twenty and back, forty and back, sixty and back. Yeah, and you so do it awful. five times. Yeah, yeah. So by about the, the first and second one, you're like, yeah, yeah. right, you're I'm cruising, I'm thinking, cruising. Yeah. yeah, I'm on, I'm, I'm on track here, I'm on yeah. track here, and then yeah. the third one, the lactic's building up, and you're yeah. like, think to yourself, fuck. Yeah, I'm going, I'm going down here, boys. Shouldn't have their second serving. Yeah, oh, of sushi. <laughs> yeah, and then by the fifth one, you're just in an absolute cook up. By then, your legs are burning, but you know you're just holding on, just going. If I don't get this time, I'm going to be in strife. Yeah. So. What's, so what's a good time for that? Oh, it depends on your position. Um, they want me at. Like I'm just going to log a good a time, four, see if I yeah. can work towards yeah. a professional time. <laughs> I'm. Uh, they said 4:55 for me, which is you know it's pretty reasonable yeah. time, but. You know, just yeah, it depends on the position you're running around in. Like, uh, the have backs. you always been your loose forward? Have you always been yeah, a loose forward? Yeah, always been a yeah, been a loose forward. Yeah, yeah. Because um, that's that, that's the one position that I reckon, and when they do the rugby union league transfer, yeah, that I don't reckon anyone can do can transition into that. Position. I don't, look from league to union. Yeah, because you just get lost. Yeah. So I think Sam Burgess tried doing it. Yeah, or wasn't he twelve? Did he try twelve? Th- I'm sure I listened to something the other day. Might have been interviewed, and he said he started him as a loose Try forward. And I was thinking, out. what's he, what on earth? He just get eaten up, wouldn't he? Yeah. Like, well, it's just I guess it's a position where you kind of you're stuck between a, I'm kind of back, yeah, but I'm not really. I don't think you're yeah, back. Yeah. You're just trying oh, to claim yeah, yeah, you're yeah. back. <laughs> I'm just trying to say my speed. Yeah, I know, you know? this guy. <laughs> <laughs> you're kind of stuck in between like yeah. that forty backy role because you're always yeah. kind of running around with the backs in there like moves. Yeah. Um, but then at the and same time and helping them out when they get caught yeah helping yeah. them out when they're yeah. you know getting you're a bodyguard stuff. yeah pretty yeah. much yeah. I mean enforcer enforcer, enforcer. Okay. Yeah. I'd That's like better. to think that anyway yeah. that's a nice word just claim that one yeah nice I would word, that enforcer one. Yeah. back yeah. unbelievable yeah <laughs> yeah because that's, that's always the one I thought nah no one's gonna you just can't like I mean yeah. I suppose Brad Thorne eh? he was yeah he was, he was a, a he was a lock wasn't he yeah, yeah he was a lock 
But he was sort of a little bit like a loose forward anyway. So yeah. I suppose maybe he's the only exception to the rule, but he's just a madman. Yeah, he's a madman. I was about to say he's a madman. He yeah. just had grunt. It wasn't really. He just got it yeah. done. He Have you had much dealing with him? With him? Nah, not really. Like a little bit of talk every now and then. Yeah. Just because he was around. Yeah. When I was kind he's of... Reds, uh, he's yeah, yeah. heading out. Um but yeah, he's just yeah. From he's my understanding, who's, who's yeah. the boys that have trained with him, just said you know he's just that old school. Just get it done. Yeah, just get it done. Don't and shut make up. excuses. Yeah. Just get it done. Because he was he was McCaw's bodyguard. Yeah, for for a long time. Wasn't yeah. He? Did did you? What do you think of Mac- like? Is he someone you looked up to, Richie McCaw? I rated the way he played. Like he played the game yeah. to the to the the team. Yeah, see, this you know, is a real Australian. Always, he, this is a real Australian opinion. It, he here. always found it. Yeah. You know, they always found the way to. Yeah. What you're trying to say is that he was yard. a cheater. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't say that. I didn't say that. <laughs> he he told everyone else. Said that. Yeah, I know. Well, came out of your but mouth. You know what I'm saying about the media? <laughs> I'm going to twist this. <laughs> twist it. Uh, yes. This is going to end up in the pavement. Are you going to flick this out? We're not going to cut that. Yeah, that's saying. No, but he, you know, you can't ever say he wasn't it. He was an unbelievable player yeah. in regards to the way he played the game. Um, and, you you know, you take pieces out of his game and try and incorporate it into yeah. your own game, just like I would with, you know, players like George Smith, like those two. Yeah, yeah. Back rowers are like, I guess, you know, some of the epitome. The go- is George Smith, it, is he pretty much considered the gold standard? Yeah, in, a, yeah. in Australia, I would say so, yeah. He's, you know... Anyone is he, is he still played. playing? Did he? He retired uh, last year. Because I remember him. Get, he went away, didn't he? To was it Japan? Yeah, Santori. Yeah, same Sun, team. Same team. Did you play with him? No, uh, you just missed. I just missed him as he was so he kind swapped of out. out. Yeah, yeah. He swapped the old blood for the new blood. <laughs> yeah, just yeah. Slight move, Santori. Slight move. Yeah. move. That's smart. Yeah. That's yeah. smart. That is good. I'll see what you've done there. <laughs> yeah. So he's a gold standard because then he came back and played what two seat one or yeah, two well, seasons. Yeah. Well, he would. You know, he, he just played for so long. Is he Fifty years old. He's not that close. Old, well, big, pretty but he, close. Yeah. But um, because he went over and he was still winning like MVPs over in yeah, you know, Europe, and then yeah. he's coming back to Japan, killing it there, and then he came back and did two more seasons here, and you're just like, just nothing, nothing. And it's such a, it's not even like a, a position where you can hide a little bit. Yeah, you like got, he's in the, you're in the thick of thick it. Of it. He's yeah. always running around. And he was still killing it though. Yeah, like you look at the way he was playing, he's still absolutely killing it. So who's the gold standard now to be? Because Pocock, he uh. He ret- doesn't he retire after this? Uh, he's retiring after this yeah. World Cup. Um, in regards to pilfering and and yeah. and that kind of play, he's probably the gold standard in getting yeah. the ball back, retaining the ball type thing. Yeah. Hooper, you know, you look at his ball carrying and, and the way he gets around the field, he's like a hyper bunny. So, you know, those two players kind of, I guess, combined yeah. is where you'd look at with with that kind of... Um, Situation for the back row, yeah, those yeah. two positions about getting around and and then you're number eight, <laughs> <laughs> except I'm gone. <laughs> you said you're gone. Get the team down, mate. <laughs> you could have been there. You take Dave's Dave Dave P's Davey P's position. Oh, I don't know if I could do that. You don't know. He, yeah. look, he looks like an intense sort of a fella too. Yeah, yeah. Full noise. Yeah, um, full noise. Looks like he doesn't an ounce of fat on him. There, I don't think there is. I yeah. think it would actually be at probably zero. What his so. time is for that Bronco? Probably pretty, that, probably pretty quick. Maybe red hot. <laughs> Maybe you might not want to find that out because you've also specified what your time is. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. We've got a let's reference not, point let's now. Let's not tell yeah. anyone. He's in low threes. <laughs> He's knocking it off in two. He's yeah. just doing thirty so, well, seconds. Well, I wonder what. So it'd be a good because I know the um the fittest like the the goals in like All Blacks law because this is my reference point because I know same not so yeah. much about it but being New Zealand it's just hard a, not to. Yeah, you got a little bible yeah. at home. The All so Black it's from like Richie McCaw being like a gross cheater he was um, <laughs> he was one of the fittest in the teams but I think they used to go off the um, shuttle run yeah so was the big one um, what is it, like the yo-yo yeah type thing yo-yo I think that's test. what you call it it's only it's it's set yeah 20, like it's not yeah. back and forth it's set yeah is it 20 oh, is yeah it? it's set like um, it's like a beep you got oh, you got two points yeah, the, apart yeah, might be 20 yeah, 25 beep meters test, beep, test. Beep, yeah. Test. Yeah, beep test yeah that's why we used to go bang bang, bang. Yeah. yeah and it gets harder yeah. and harder and yeah. harder that's yeah. not one you guys do Back in the day, like back when I was at school, we were doing yep. that one, and then it went to the yo-yo test was the the big one, and then it seems to be now the one point two is the taken Bronco. over. Yeah, yeah. and try to save Yeah, yeah, just go knock it, <laughs> yeah, knock, knock it a, quick, knock it through my time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Finished about. Uh, yeah, uh, took me about twenty. Yeah, twenty. <laughs> I'll, I'll be running after the first one. I'll be cooked. Uh, my turns will let me down. Yeah, they're, I'm it. just not getting yeah, out of there. Quick I'm fast, enough. fast off the blocks, but it's my turns that'll let me down. Happens happens she fits that's what i say yeah chuck, chuck too much time plumbing chuck some yeah. boots on you'll be right i'll be like a proper house that faster than a rougher house <laughs> that's about all i got that's all i got yeah i'll take that yeah take yeah. it yeah so what's so have you got like a um like a playing goal age like because you're obviously still pretty young for playing yeah. wise do you have like an age you want to make it to like are you going to be a george smith that's still you know 
you know, depending on where, like where in the world I'm playing, yeah. um, you know, I'd love to stay in Japan as long as possible. You know, it's the perfect for us. You know, it's a nine hour flight away type thing. I'd love to keep, you know, if I'm there playing till, you know, another yeah. eight years from now, yeah. to like that 32, 35 and just try, you know, go as, go as far as I can, you know, because then... What's uh, the what's the game volume difference? Over there? Well, this year it'll be, I think it's around 18, so it's actually quite a few games this season we're rolling yeah. into. Rolls from about January through to back end of May, so it's yeah. like a pretty solid stint. There's not many buys in there. What's, uh, super, what's super then compared to that? Uh, super wouldn't be too much more. I think, so you know, your pool, up, your pool games would yeah. be about, you know, between 16 or 18 games, yeah. and then yeah. So it's getting you know, gradually more finals. intense over there. Yeah, yeah, so it's slowly, you know, building up with what they're trying to do. Yeah. Um, with their their side you know Jap- japanese rugby and that yeah that's the so then also the more influx of foreign people coming in players yeah is going to make it you know, bring yeah, up the well, intensity level there's a you know after world cup there's you know here you know you got yeah. um kieran reed and you even got the coach steve hans and they roll into um toyota Ver blitz oh are they yeah i don't a, know that's that. kieran reed yeah oh. yeah so they're rolling over there so that'll make an uh interesting side rolling into there but you got then you hear like bernard foley's going to a team over there and there's just a whole heap of foreigners which yeah. will just increase the the way teams are training and playing yeah. and it's only going to better you know yeah. not just Japanese footy but um, you know the foreigners over there wanting to make a difference because you can only actually at the moment <coughs> play five foreigners on the field at oh a really? Time. yeah and that's two capped so you can only have two capped players on there and then five all up what do, you mean, what do you mean by capped? Uh, so like your Wallabies or your All Blacks. Oh, so okay. yeah, sorry, yeah, 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 internationally capped. Yeah, internationally yeah. capped players playing only two. Two, at a, two at a time. Oh. Um, and then just five all up. And yeah. then you do have like your, obviously your, your Japanese passport holders who are you yeah. know, foreigners as such. Um, they can be on there with you. So that doesn't matter. Yeah. So um, you do have a few teams that have a few more. So if you stayed there and said, oh, I'm going to get a Japanese passport, I'm going to be here for a while, you know, some place I'm going to live for ages, you know, back yeah. and forth, whatever. Yeah. Would you be then considered, or if you'd be considered it, the Japanese? It wouldn't, like... Because uh, well, you're already capped. Because I'm already capped. Yeah. So it then wouldn't really, I think, be beneficial Yeah. for me to kind of do it. Yeah. Because it wouldn't matter. Cause wouldn't I was, matter, yeah. 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 So it's capped you're already letting the side down anyway. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> sorry, guys. So to speak. <laughs> yeah. Sorry about the cap. Guys. Yeah, sorry about, sorry about the cap. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, your first, so what team did you debut against for the Wallabies? Oh, jeez. I think it was Wales. Wales in yeah. Wales. Yeah, Wales in Wales. Wales and Wales. Was that like on a um, Northern Hemisphere tour? Yeah. Well, I got picked. I think it was my first year. Super. Got picked to go. On so going the, back, going back. So you finished. You finished the sevens competition. Yes, yeah, so I did three years with the sevens. Yeah. Did and you uh, did you play any footy other than sevens? Uh, like, not did they really. Let you like play it was pretty sports? much by that stage. You're starting to get to that stage where it was full time kind of sevens. Yeah like that's yeah. what you were doing like yeah. you could pick up a like club game here and there but I didn't really have time picked yeah. up like four games when I'd kind of signed with um, the Rebels so I could get a bit of a feel for it again before rolling down there and, and hitting a pre-season um, which then I kind of played most of those games that first season and then yeah. this is when I knew thing called NRC was starting so we were playing that and then got kind of called to go through and um, do the spring tour um, and I didn't think like I'd be getting much game time at that stage um, but so I ended you left, up you left sevens to go to the Melbourne Rebels. Is that was that always the goal? You're like, oh, I'm not staying sevens for a while. Or the goal for me was for a to play bit. super. Yeah, I didn't know if I was going to get there or not. Yeah, because I'd been in sevens, you know, those three years by now, and it kind of was starting to get to that stage where, like, as it is not? now, where it's sevens is sevens. If you're yeah. playing sevens, you're playing sevens. Yeah, you no. Know, so like, it's your, you make your decision now. It's either fifteens or you play sevens. Yeah. Um. So. Basically, from there, then, yeah, went to Melbourne, did four years there. Yeah. But, yeah, did that spring tour. Was going to play the... Uh, we were playing the Bar Bars. I actually got a run in the Bar Bars because one of the boys got down, like, Wallabies versus the Bar Bars because that was, like, the first game. And you were on the tour with the Australians? Yeah. At yeah. the same time? <laughs> yeah, and we versed the Bar Bars. And you got to play... Oh, sorry, sorry. Yeah. Oh, I thought you played for the Bar Bars. No, no. Like, That's a bit rough. No, no. Sure that would have been, oh, you're out. Yeah, you got to you play for the... It's like back yeah. in under gotta, fives again. Gotta, yeah, you got to play for the opportunity. Yeah. you got to play for the opposition. Flick you around the other side. Yeah. Is that okay? Yeah, is that oh, okay? Well, I'm not going to complain. Mm. But yeah, ended up playing... You need a different jersey. Yeah. Yeah. Ended up playing that game and then the following week ended up... Um, yeah. Versing Wales, which was a... Um, so the... Yeah, oh, so Barbars was your like 
yeah, like I guess yeah, first kind first, of, but it's not classified. But not as a, cat. a yeah, yeah, I'm with you, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just a kind of yeah, it's it's just a friendly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh well, it's pretty full noise. Pretty, you know, some, of the, some of the yeah. yeah, some of the boys they bring in for that bar bar side. Yeah. Yeah. They got a point to prove as to why they're not on their own side. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But um, yeah, so that's where that all went with that. And they got the spring, so you got a few games on that tour. Yeah, that tour, and yeah. then yeah, that but, kind of kicked out where the rest of my next three years went with, yeah. in regards to where I was playing with the Rebels and then the Wallabies as well. So the Rebels were your super side the whole time. Yeah, my super side yeah. the whole time. So did you have to move down there. Yeah, moved to Melbourne. We actually enjoyed it, like the food and the the nightlife and yeah. whatever. That was awesome. Um, the first two years, and then obviously you know had a wife, so it slowed me down. Just, just a chill touch. out, yeah, just mm. a, just a right. touch. Yeah. Leave that there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, Melbourne's just so full on, like I think. Yeah. But then also, like, it, it wouldn't be as, like, Union wouldn't be very popular there. No, nah, well, it's not, you know, you've got every other sport under yeah. the sun down there, especially, you know, AFL's the big one. Yeah. So, you know, we got a decent crowd. You got, you know, three, four thousand or whatever, five thousand to a game. But yeah, it's nothing to, you know. Nothing. When yeah. you look at the, the amount of crowds they're raining in for that. For the AFL grand oh, yeah. final and stuff like that, which is absolutely Horrific, incredible. Yeah. But yeah, this is so. It's just Melbourne's actually such a sporting. It's like a sporting like, capital. Yeah, it's yeah. awesome. Now I think yeah. like they got the Grand Prix as well. They got yeah. the um, tennis. The tennis. They must have a golf game there somewhere too. Yeah, surely. surely. They've got to be something. Yeah, something. That place. You just got to put up with the cold. Yeah. Oh well. You know they fucking say four seasons in one day yeah. down there. Get yeah. up, it's sunny. Leaving, it's probably snowing. Yeah. <laughs> I've just got no interest in that job. <laughs> just got no interest in doing yeah. that. Nah, so it's not I, bad though. I know you're focused on your uh, footy at the moment. Do, mm. you, do you have like a plan after, after footy? footy? I guess you know at the or moment. Just so kind of trying to it that. Yeah, I guess I'm. You know, every day you kind of wake up and you go, "What if this is kind of the last yeah. day you're playing footy?" You know, it doesn't take much for you know to, no. to end a career these days. Because you're almost redlining yourself. Yeah. To an extent. Yeah. Yeah. You're maxing out. Maxing out every day. Just so continue to. Yeah do that for as long as you can I guess yeah. with you know looking after your body as best you yeah. can to get through it but yeah you know at the moment I'm kind of just kind of trying to figure out what I'm going to do yeah. post footy at the moment you know trying to do you know with what I'm earning now the best I can in regards to investing and yeah, yeah, and right. stuff yep. like that um, and trying you know to set yourself up or you know pay off your house or whatever you can yeah. as best you can for post footy but yeah you, eventually you got to start thinking about yeah. a real job and what I'm going to do on that front which you know it's a scary thing to think about don't you know are if you I'm ready for an apprenticeship is that yeah. what you're trying to do well have you got one around when I'm about 30, 30 plus I'll say 10 years maybe <laughs> we'll see I don't think you like me as a boss <laughs> no I'm a good boss I'm not friendly I'm, not, I'm friendly super friendly yeah. ask the boys they'll tell you but no it's it, yeah that, and, and I, I sometimes look at like professional athletes and I think man I wonder if because it seems like some of them just go some of them are smart about it, and like you, like yeah. obviously, it like sounds like you've given it thought. And other guys just like, I'm gonna, I'll deal with that the day after oh, I'm retired. Right. Yeah, and you must see that with guys. I guess, you yeah, deal you've with. seen, you have you seen, seen the horror players stories. or you hear of, yeah. of stories where kind of blokes have got out and they've obviously been on, you know, wicket that Great you know, money, could yeah. have supported you for you know some time, but you've either got people that have blown it or yeah, just haven't like thought about what they wanted to do after it. And for me, it's kind of you know it's a bit of a scary thing to think mm. what if i come out at the end of this and i've done it for so long and i or i haven't you know set myself up or done the right thing yeah with what i had and you know then that affects you know your family and what it can it can do from there because you hear yeah. those stories where you know blokes lose their their families or their missus just yeah. because they you know the struggle to deal they with struggle they, they weren't mentally prepared to be finished I guess a lot with, of it because you're footy. you're with mates every day. Yeah, like you see your mates, you go to work, yeah. you work with your mates. Yeah, which is pretty cool. Yeah, granted it's work for you. I mean, we enjoy it. It's probably not work. Yeah, but it's it's exciting. Yeah, and then and then it's gone. Yeah, and you see that's why guys stay in footy, but then you see guys don't. They just disappear off the face of the earth, and then yeah. you can see how that would be like a that'd be concerning. Yeah, and especially like with your partner and that like yeah, could, fuck, what was he gonna do with his time? Yeah, exactly. And I, you can see how people mentally struggle with that yeah. transition, and you know, I can't say that it won't happen to me because I don't know what it'll yeah. be like in yeah. you know ten. But years if you're thinking that, about it, yeah, that means you're sort of yeah, you're probably putting to, things in yeah, place, trying yeah. to put myself in yeah, as a, <clears throat> a place I need it. But yeah, yeah, I can definitely see where the transition yeah from tough. training. And you said you know you're with your mates every day, which is yeah. like awesome. Like you're rolling into training you're having a yarn about yeah. you know a day before or whatever and you're with them just all the time mm. and then I guess you go into a job where you're either sitting behind a desk or yeah out on the trades 
you know, plumbing. Yeah. <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> don't, don't do that. <laughs> but yeah, you can see where people yeah. or players, you know, yeah. struggle with that and, and finding their way. Oh yeah, it's it's just tricky. It's it, and you see it like more and more with guys, um, especially with the uh, that big thing. I don't know if you saw that uh, movie Concussion. Yeah, came out like all yep. of those things as well. Yep. they sound like they and that people doing erratic behaviour, people you know really rash with the things they do. Like they'll just go and buy something massive, not, yep. not really think about it. Or they'll or they'll just, just drastic. And that's probably how guys get in fights and things like that because of that syndrome and yep. what, what what sort of what came with that yeah i think that's what you know guys get nervous about as well yeah but with technology you'd like to think that see all the recovery stuff and everything yeah there's now. plenty going on out there yeah now when it comes to recover yeah. you know there's it's only going to get better i think and, and oh, continue yeah. to get more intense because you know as the game gets gets bigger and you know yeah. the, the boys just uh, we everyone seems to continue to be getting bigger except yeah. me yeah. just <laughs> plateauing <laughs> my, <laughs> gut, my gut's getting bigger that's yeah. it. um but you know the way they look at the the training programs and the strength programs and now yeah. and the way people are doing things like the technology with recovery is just going to keep getting better yeah. to look after you know the play, these players that are out there just pushing themselves every day and that's not just rugby that's you know it's athletes yeah. just basically in general just a, such a especially all yours are such an intense contact sport yeah but the like you're saying it's fast in Japan yeah, and then the big boys who are fast as well come yeah. over as well. Oh yeah, then you're like, oh holy shit! Now it's big and fast. Now yeah. I've got a yeah. You got a, There's a couple of big centers rolling around over there yeah. that uh, you know have to just hop, yeah. hop down and hope you're a speed bump. Yeah, <laughs> <They> trip <laughs> over the top here. They start a footy at about one five, and now they're, gonna, they're retiring at one twenty. <laughs> yeah, haven't lost too much speed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a real issue. <laughs> oh man, I don't know. Honestly, I don't know how you do it. It's, it's terrifying. A real issue. Terrifying, especially like the intensity of some of the, t- especially internationally, wouldn't it be like the intensity of the environment you're in? Yeah, especially like those big crowds and that the intensity with you know the the crowds um prepping yourself up for a game like yeah. there's a lot of mental chat to yourself i guess it was for me i yeah. can't speak for you know how other pe- people do it but yeah. then like the mental chat and like you, i'll say it, like the the amount of nerves that you actually get yeah. and the butterflies in your belly like gets to a stage where you just nearly need well, I get to butterflies spew. watching it and yeah. i'm like, like oh you have my to have God. A spew. yeah like you're chucking your boots on and you know I'm pretty like I'll chuck my right one on then my left one yeah. and pull my socks up I was going to say do people you have, have any... a bit of a routine yeah. that they stick to I used to shower all the time before it like before like, every game like as I'd shower at the hotel and then I'd get to the game and then I'd just go hop in the shower again just to kind of like just do so just do you do find like you've got to not waste time but you've got to if you're busy it, yeah. that means that you're sort of keeping your mind keeping my mind busy. away from yeah. playing the game before yeah. it's played which you know yeah. can happen you, yeah. sometimes you've played the 80 minutes before you've you've played and yeah. you, you, you kind of ruins your game it can yeah. nearly do the adverse effect yeah that doesn't mean preparation in in practicing your your line outs or running that over in your heads yeah not there but it's just you don't want to i've always found i didn't want to play the game before i played the game yeah um to shout to a shower shower again and yeah shower and then i'd just be like then i'd have like all my strapping and that all yeah. set out i'd try to do it at like specific times so i'd get there see the schedule and i'd just have all these times to try to be done by yeah so then that would be like my thing to kind of flick keep on the head noise yeah, on yeah. It's it. yeah. so what, what's a game day like for you then if you're game to <laughs> say you're playing what seven o'clock at night yeah do you try and have like a sleep in yeah so i always used to try um i got to a stage where i try to sleep to like that nine or ten and get up and kind of have a real big brekkie yeah um and then i'd roll home probably flick a movie on and then i'd try you know snooze you know get an extra you know two hours there yeah. between you know 11 and, and 2 or whatever have a small bite to eat and then then i'd go back to sleep for another hour or two sleep more yeah just try just yeah cruise and then i'd get up and give me give me you know two or three hours to get there and are you, are you, when you're snoozing are you doing it for keep your head yeah a little bit of, of that and just kind just, of just trying to make sure that do you think you're preparing do you think your body knows we're about to go into a bit of warfare yeah, here i like, think you always felt like because you feel a little bit tired sometimes you're yeah. like okay i'll just do that i don't know if your body's kind of just working up and yeah it's crazy it's, yeah it's kind of it probably it knows, knows what's going on surely subconsciously it, your body's yeah. like oh this it's asshole's it. gonna yeah. put us through this again we're going into yeah, we're going, going into a real, yeah. real fucking battle here. yeah 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 gonna wake up tomorrow stinging yeah and so you yeah, then so then you make your way to the that then it's the process yeah the process of yeah. being at the game and yeah. rolling in and by that stage everything's kind of set up for you with yeah. where you need to be you just need to set your times i guess to, to what has to be done yeah what it's always intrigued me the whole in this not the in the sanctum of that sort of 
um, well, I guess it is the inner sanctum of what happens because yeah. you never get to see like all we see is on. pretty much you guys in the warm up sheds maybe and then yeah. running out doing a bit of a bat back tap on each other yeah that's right tap. getting ready yeah. getting ready to rock yeah. but we don't see like what will you do in the day how you prepare how yeah. you you know that, I've always thought that'd be quite cool to do like yeah just see if they what, let you have like a video log where you follow the person yeah see what he's doing see what, see what he's doing because yeah. people don't see that but people do love that stuff yeah they want to know yeah. kind of what because content's great right to what's, yeah, what yeah. that bloke's doing and know, I guess even for younger guys like you see like the younger teen guys that are one day hopefully see themselves in a similar position they're yeah. like I'll just because you know they're going to follow you yeah. and do exactly what you did that yeah. day to so, see if it works for them yeah like, and that, that's always, a way always, of finding I always think like yeah people like would look at the, what you know I was doing or someone else was yeah. doing and they'd probably pick and choose bits and pieces that they might yeah. like to have input because you all end up always end up developing what works yeah. for you yeah. what what's your thing you eventually find your niche and yeah exactly yeah. that's what you build your preparation about and yeah. for a lot of people that then never changes for yeah. I don't know how long it hasn't changed for me I still do the same thing every day when it comes Just to comfort my zone boots. too yeah 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 because yeah. you do sometimes you do feel a bit i don't know for me it was if i missed something it'd just put me in like a i'd be like fuck i didn't do that yeah that one thing that i wanted to get done and you kind of think it i didn't share linger Shit. on it yeah, yeah. fuck <laughs> how'd you miss that <laughs> one <laughs> all the fellas are gonna say you smelly yeah. Prick. yeah but um yeah so it's could always like linger in the back of your head you miss that one thing or your boots not tied that's the, the thing about it. superstitions eh? yeah. it can almost do like, like you said the adverse yeah. effect yeah throw you off and then throw you off which you know occasionally especially in warm-up you're like yeah fuck my boots feeling like it's about to fall off yeah i didn't tie it the way i usually tied it yeah this is the issue and that's a plane in the back yeah. of your head so you sit down you're fucking redoing your shoe as quickly and as possible you're stressing yeah now i've missed that part <laughs> yeah i've missed that part of the warm-up you like, oh. oh, i never thought about that i never thought like because anything to throw you off and, yeah. and like are there, like are there blokes that you've played with that do strange stuff where you looked over and you're going is he actually doing that to warm up like is it a I that would put me off I'll be watching the other guys go what's he doing that for maybe I should start <laughs> maybe I should jump yeah, in maybe I should do that yeah I, I've never really watched enough like you will now. So fo- yeah, I will now that you've said it. <laughs> yeah. going, what's that going on? You missed that me. I had the worst game because I spent <laughs> yeah. the whole time watching everyone else get ready. Yeah. Missed my warm-up oh, yeah. because I was like watching yeah. everyone else do their yeah. shit. If I, oh, someone does this, this guy yeah. does this, and this yeah. guy does this. Got you some, got you some content, mm. though, Jono. Send the footage through. You send the yeah. footage. Because yeah, that would be something I reckon. There'd be some... Because there are strange, but like I've heard just different things about like NFL players and that. They do strange stuff like they would have to spray themselves down with certain things or they have to, you know some of them jump on an ice bath before they get ready and yeah. there's weird shit I've had blokes do the ice bath thing it's never been something yeah. to float my boat though like fuck you can jump in the cold before you need to like yeah. jump in the cold after when you when you probably like yeah. your legs don't are, do it to yourself is it? Why, yeah. why are you frosting yourself yeah, early probably start to get going yeah, yeah. it's cold outside yeah <laughs> you're already going back but, in the cold oh, no. that, that, yeah that, that's always intrigued me like the intensity of what the guys do yeah to get themselves to get themselves up, up. Yep. And, and, and I suppose it wouldn't change each sport but then that, then it comes with professionalism you got to you know like like you said you've got your processes yep. that you work through and stick to but I thought that would be cool for like a young a young player to go to oh like I never really thought about doing that part or I never thought about you know, even sh- I never thought about sharing yeah I, it's something to do yeah to each and every time yeah but it's always yeah for me it was just like a relax gets away from everyone because you're not yeah. around everyone I guess when you're yeah. in that area so you get just get a time to have a think yeah chill out switch on don't smell that's right smell fresh yeah smell fresh, fresh for the boys <laughs> fresh for the lads <laughs> yeah <laughs> just sitting there someone gets something smells you're like well it's not yeah. me yeah because I've shared twice in the last yeah. 30 minutes <laughs> yeah. yeah I know I went for it back it's yeah, not, not me. me yeah what's say so what what do you do with your downtime then outside of footy like we spoke before like you're in Japan yeah do you like, like lots of guys are right into their computer games or playstation shit like yeah. that I've never been into that stuff yeah it does my head in but I doubt when you know I got a bit of a ban. The missus doesn't let me oh. play it when she's around, so it's not often when she's there I get to play it. So when I head back, I'll probably you know, right. la- lash into a few games yeah. before she comes back with me. Yeah. Um, but other than that, like over there, because we have the little fella as well, we try to get out and about, Yeah. Um, get into town, keep him busy, take him to the play centres over there. You know, it's such a... When I get those chances to, to go out and spend yep. time with um, my son and that, we kind of try to take it. Um, if they're kind of not there because they're a bit you know occasionally back and forth yeah because they've got stuff to do back here every now and then um i'll go and get my recovery done and then yeah you know lash out a few games <laughs> yeah, on, the, on the on the playstation the playstation 4 now you're, yeah you're, i'm just you're, saying you're i'm into it yeah, yeah. Oh, how dare you yeah, I know. fucking dare you <laughs> maybe look like a real peanut yeah. yeah um 
And then, oh, there's plenty of places to eat over there. So they yeah. have these places called um, Madalaka Yakiniku, which is like basically a, a Japanese barbecue where you get most of them are like a lot of them are like all you can eat, yep. all you can drink. Um, you know, it's dangerous. Cost you about, yeah, 50 bucks. Yeah. <laughs> Let's just say after the game, it's, a, yeah, it's tough on the skin folds. <laughs> yeah, tough on the skin folds when <laughs> yeah. you're smashing that. But it's where you're cooking it yourself. And it's a good time with all the lads over there, especially yeah. um, when others, their missus are also sometimes at home with their kids yeah. just doing similar so it's always good to and even when the families are there it's nice that you get together yeah, and have these together. big big tables and because we're all obviously foreigners um it's nice to because we all live in the same building as well um oh really it's, yeah. yeah it's nice to you know say oh do you guys want to go out for like a family dinner and we got something common don't you yeah and you yeah. just all get to go out and have these these big dinners and and yep. that it's usually pretty close as well and everyone just gets to enjoy each other's company which is nice especially when you know, otherwise you'd be kind of a bit secluded yeah. over there by yourself. That's what makes you miss home a lot, eh? Yeah, when you're exactly. Like that. Yeah, exactly. Do you get the Japanese, the, 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 your Japanese team members, are they involved in, are they pretty involved in what you do as well? Yeah, like we are always doing big like team events and yep. um, like team get-togethers, team barbecues. Like Oh, cool, yeah. The Japanese boys are like real big on like getting around each other and they're, they're always doing family ones as well yep. where you bring your family as well and and do that and at our club especially we have like a, a social group i guess and and most of them are all um just the japanese boys and they always yeah. planning it up and um you they go just get, it. The, yeah, yeah. get the translator and he just sends through the times and you roll in and it's yeah. awesome like, you rely on that bloke a lot of that translator yeah. like, what he, happened there he, man tell yeah. me what happened we just missed a, a full conversation there <laughs> yeah. Yosh, what's going on <laughs> i'll fool you later boys yeah yeah they're just begging you <laughs> yeah yeah but it's um yeah, I think we've got another translator coming in this year, so we have two. Because uh, it's just so... We've got a I think... So that's for the job, full-time... Full-time translating pretty much for the boys. And so you're out, out in the paddock as well, they're there with yeah, you. Like, yeah, yeah. So yeah. when we're out training, he's just running around on the field and if we need to say something, we're like, Yosh, get over here, mate! Yeah. I can scream him down and if it's real quick play, you, you're into him. But he's a good man. He's a good man. That'd be he a pretty cool job. Play. What a job title, away. Eh? I'm a yeah. professional translator. Yeah. it's would um, be a cool job so he gets he gets a lot of work done yeah it wouldn't be, wouldn't be easy especially dealing with I wonder with how us. much he I'd love to talk to him I wonder how much he um, suppresses <laughs> it, it, there'd be the, there does seem like He's there's a long, a long conversation and we probably only get a, sh- yeah. a snippet of it because I can imagine the Japanese are uh, by nature quite polite yeah people are and yeah. if you're throwing heat because yeah. someone's not doing it's, something yeah. right so, I promise you he's not going off. Yeah, oh, well, he wouldn't be telling you word for word. Yeah, well, there was he said like, the kind sir over there yeah, asked if you would if just you would please get on side because you're pissing him off and yeah. step back a little bit. Yeah, that was um, it's pretty funny. Me and Matty Giddo, um, we're pretty deep into a fitness session by this stage. He's on your he's on the uh, team. Yeah, yeah he's yeah. Uh, playing with us at Santori yeah. as well. Um, and he was on one side, I was on the other. I can't remember the full situation of what happened, but one of us was fucking pushing the other or laying on the ball or something and then it just turned into this full blown just push and shove like fucking fuck fuck yeah. fuck off mate just fuck stop cheating or whatever yeah, yeah. and all the Japanese boys were just like so what, it was, it was like, not it, it was because it was so confrontational they yeah, they weren't used to it? that at training they're just not yeah. used to I guess that like heavy confrontation at that stage especially at that stage at like just a fitness game where yeah. <laughs> two bikes are just going fuck uh, were, were you guys both quite new there too like uh, or, or, not giddy I was kind of like yeah, like, who's this road coming? Yeah, he's he's going to bag everybody. Yeah, yeah. what's this yeah. guy doing? Just settle down, buddy. They looked at the translator, right? They were like, <laughs> yeah. what's, what's, "What has he been saying about us? Yeah. Yeah. Does, does someone need to go to like us?" <laughs> yeah, because yeah. do you get that quite a bit? Like in that in teams, probably more so over here. Maybe not there. Like the intensity that it pops off sometimes. Yeah, just because yeah. it's such a well, intense environment and and it's contact and it's every, yeah. everybody's out there. Everybody's earning a dollar. This yeah, is absolutely you're just for a living. Especially if you know you, you're battling for a position or whatever, yeah. and and you're on the field. I know for me it was either I go 110 percent or I'm probably not going to be, yep, out there this week. Yeah, um, and so that was like my thing at, at training and and then on the field where it's like give it everything or not, and yep. sometimes that turned into you you know getting in a bit of a scuffle or yeah. having a wrestle on the ground you know not often did it ever get into to yeah. punch ons or anything but you'd have a push and shove and a word to each other but at the end of the day you'd walk off the field and you'd have a you know yeah, yeah. slap of the hand and a bit of a laugh about yeah. what just happened and you'd go hop in the shower yeah 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 that's and, how it's got to be too eh? yeah because it's a fierce environment and yeah. if, if somebody's not competitive well then you're probably not there yeah exactly and that's what it's about and you've got like 15 or probably 30 yeah well, you're battling, competitive yeah, blokes. you're battling, you know, you have your, your two sides and you still have guys on the yeah. sideline there that are all, you know, essentially yeah. battling for this position. Yeah. And you've either 
playing exceptionally well and that's how you're keeping your role or you're forcing someone yeah. out of a position because you're training at your yeah. best and that's the only place you can do it to get yeah. yourself on the field you either train your way into a side and then play good footy or you're going to be sitting in the back yeah bench warmer bench warming but that's the thing as well like if you're if you're playing well and you're on the side you're stopping someone else playing exactly so then that, that's their job to get in your place yeah exactly I've seen that before like um, sometimes they have like things media releases or that like there's a scuffle at training yeah I think of course there is yeah why would there not be what do you expect like I'm ex- yeah, what do you expect yeah. you've got to put these guys who are like everybody's going for everyone's position yeah it's contact it's confrontational it's everything yeah. and it's so maybe maybe that's why the Japanese are a bit surprised <laughs> yeah. that you are uh, at a crack but yeah it's getting but you see all the boys now even the Japanese boys especially at our team they're all like digging in real deep now yeah. like it's like I guess having people there yeah. is giving them that like oh we can be intense at training and they're all you know running the ball so hard at training and, yeah. and tackling and just wanting to get better which is awesome to see and especially because where were you guys you got second did you say second you we were second? we came second yeah. you came second the final in the last top league season yeah yeah so they they know that you guys are bringing something yeah and step up and yeah yeah because i guess i guess that when they're such a low um not low that's the wrong word like when they're not as um not as strong a competition yeah as what's over here and what's you know around the world yeah and then you bring in the people who are from the strong competition it's well, an indication of what you yeah. have to be like if you want to be to get, to get that, better to get that better but you learn you learn a lot of things from them that i you know wouldn't have picked up back here myself in the way some some of the way they approach to their like their low tackles or yeah the way they um they train when it comes to their fitness and stuff like that and like some of them in the gym are like some of the props and stuff that you just go yeah fuck that's pretty impressive really like especially coming from like super where you you lift yeah. with some big props and you see some of their boys like knocking around like the 200s and you're just going yeah, yeah, I'm, not doing I'm, that. I'm just gonna stick to my 90 over here on the, <laughs> on the back squad eh? yeah <laughs> well the home of the sumo yeah that is true i need yeah. to get to one of those though do they, oh yeah do they have sumo competitions yeah they have big sumo oh you gotta get the boys yeah. you gotta get translated to get, get around there, there. get yeah. around that how good would that be that would be awesome they look unreal because they're like the the big celebrities over there the sumos they're really the, they're the big dogs so they're like and they're not for too long you don't live very long when you're that big. <laughs> but they're like so so they're like the they're on the tv and yeah they're on the like tv that. all the time it's like a prestigious yeah. thing um other than like because baseball and, and soccer is obviously quite big over there as well Oh, really baseball yeah, yeah. baseball's huge really huge they love it over there their own competition there yeah that's or their own competition yeah shit I don't even knew that baseball and soccer yeah it's and crazy. rugby soon to be rugby soon to be rugby soon to be rugby soon to be rugby <laughs> well man I know you got some places to be you gotta go pack and do all the do, do all the things do all that the you wanna things. do before you have to yeah, take yeah, off exactly thanks for coming in appreciate it nah, some good pleasure. insights into you know a lot of what the professional environment's like which is cool and I'm sure everyone will enjoy and yeah hopefully they do have to have you back next time you're back in yeah sounds like a plan watch again together too easy thanks buddy cheers legend